flyweight design pattern. In case of flyweight design pattern, we shall always try to optimize the number of objects which are getting created so that we can have the lesser amount of memory during the runtime of the system and also to increase the performance of the system. So, flyweight pattern is primarily used to reduce the number of objects created and to decrease the memory footprint in and increase the performance of the system. This type of design pattern comes under the structural design pattern category. As this pattern provides ways to decrease the object count thus improving the object structure of the application. Flyweight pattern tries to reuse already existing similar kind of objects by storing them and creates new object when no matching object is found. So, whenever some pre-existing object can come in our purpose, then we will be reusing the pre-existing object, but if the object is not pre-existing, then only the new objects will be created. We will demonstrate this pattern by drawing 20 circles of different locations, but we will create only 5 objects, only 5 colors are available. So, color property is used to check whether the object of this particular circle is pre-existing or not. So, let us go for one practical example and there we will be showing you one Java application and also we shall explain our case study with uh, UML class diagrams and for the better understanding this demonstration will help you to learn about this concept. So, here is the demonstration for you. Flightweight design pattern is one of the structural design pattern as this pattern provides ways to decrease the object count thus improving the application required objects structure. And flightweight pattern is used when we need, a, need to create a large number of a huge number of similar types of objects let, let it be say 10 to the power of 4 or 10 to the power of 5 number of and one important feature of uh, flyweight objects is that they are immutable that means they cannot be modified once they have been constructed. So, now let us go to have one implementation of this flyweight design pattern using our Java coding. And we know that whenever we are having the lesser number of objects which will reduce the memory usage and it manages to keep us away from errors related to the memory like the error message that is the java.lang.out-of-memory error. And although creating an object in Java is really fast and you can still reduce the execution time of our program by sharing our object. So, here we are going to create one shape interface and concrete class circle implementing the shape interface. The factory class that is the shape factory is defined as a, as a next step. And shape factory has a hash map of circle where the key will be the color and the circle object will be the value. So, whenever a request comes to create a circle of the particular color to the shape factory, it checks whether the circle object is there in the hash map or not. If the object of the circle is found, then the object is returned. Otherwise, a new object will be created, stored in the hash map for the feature use and returned to the client. Flyweight pattern demo will be our demo class and we will use the shape factory to get a, uh, a shape object and it will pass the information. Let it be green, uh, say red, green, blue, black and white to shape factory to get the circle of the desired color as it needs. So, now let us go for, uh, to implementation, go for the implementation step by step. So, at first we are going to create one interface that is a shape.java. So, this is our shape.java, you can find that public interface shape and it is having only one method that is draw. Next, we are going for one concrete class implementing uh, shape interface that is my circle.java. So, let us discuss this circle.java which is implementing the interface shape which is having the instance variables all of them are under the private scope that is the string color int x int y and int radius and circle is nothing but a constructor so according to the input parameter which will be passed that is a parameter as constructor this color will be instantiated accordingly will be initialized accordingly we are having this public void set x which will which is the setter function for the int x this is a setter function for the y. So, the name of the function is method is our set y. And here we are having this set radius, 
which is taking this radius as input parameter and instantiating this particular radius that is the instance variable radius and here we are having this draw which will print the color which will print the x y and the radius values so where we are having this circle dot java let us go for this shape factory dot java let us go for this shape factory dot java so public class shape factory so that is the class we are going to define and private static final hash map so you know that hash map in this case we are having a key value pair so key is the color which is be which will be of the type string and value will be the shape class object this hash map object name is circle map and it has got instantiated we are having one method that is a great circle this get circle is taking this color as input argument as an input parameter and it returns the shape object uh, as output so circle circle is equal to circle circle map dot get color so depending upon the color treating it treating it as a as a key value so circle map is actually returning the circle class object but if the color does not match then the circle object will be having the value null if the color is matching then obviously circle will be having the respective object retrieved from the hash map circle map so here we are having this if the circle is equal, is equal to null then we are going to create a new circle object and we are putting this color there we are putting this color uh, as uh, through the constructor and then with this color value we are putting it into the circle map hash map so using the method put and here also we are printing one line that is the one string will get printed that means the new circle has got created with this color and then the either the uh, retrieve circle object from the circle map hash map that will be returned or if the circle is equal to null then the new circle whatever has been uh, the object we are going to create and that will be returned at the end next we are going for this fly weight pattern demo so now we have finished up to the step number three so use the factory to get the object of concrete class by passing an information as such as a color and fly weight pattern demo dot java is the respective class name so here we are having this fly weight pattern demo dot java under which we are going to define one final array static final array which is containing string type of objects so that is red green blue white and black so the size of this array is five so now what we are doing this is the main function we are having so one for loop is executing from 0 to 19 so circle circle is equal to circle shape factory dot get circle and here we are having this get random color so get random color is user defined function we have defined that one so it is using the random uh, method here so math dot random into colors dot length so colors dot length is five here so as a result of that it will produce the value and we are doing the type casting to integer so it will produce the value ranging from zero to four so depending upon the subscript value the respective color will be retrieved from this colors string array so that is our get random color so depending upon the color the from the hash map object there is our circle map we are trying to retrieve the circle object so that is the circle object we are retrieving so you know that whenever you are using this get circle whenever you are using this get circle so actually this particular method is getting executed so if the color is the new one if, if there is no match then the circle will remain is equal is equal to null then the new circle will be created and that will be put into the circle map otherwise the respective circle object which will be read from this which will be retrieved from this hash map circle map will be returned here so that is the that is the case so that this circle will be initialized either using the either newly created circle object or the circle object which will be retrieved from the hash map so now we are going for this set x we are going for this set y we are going for this set radius it is a fixed constant that is a 100 and then circle dot draw will be executing this respective method so there is a circle dot draw will print the color print the x and y coordinates and also print the radius so that is a there is a case so now for this get random x for the get random y we written the respective methods here so now let me go for the execution of the code you can find that when the white color has appeared for the first time it is creating the circle of the color white and then we are, it is putting the respective x y coordinates and the radius radius is fixed as 100 for the black for the first time it is creating one object 
uh, of the circle uh, class and then it is putting the x and y defining x and y and put and radius values 100 as again so now we are going for this blue i think we should go at the top at first so for the red when the red color has occurred for the first time a new circle object has got created so x and y and the radius has got printed for the first time blue the blue uh, the new circle object has got created the x and y and the color and the radius is getting printed for the white for the black for the first time the new uh, circle objects are getting created but when we are getting the repetition of the black color blue color blue blue black white red and blue again so the new objects are not getting created only the uh, previous object which has been stored in the hash map will be retrieved and new x and y will be assigned and then radius value is permanently 100 here when the green color will come then for the first time the green color uh, when the green color has been retrieved using the random uh, method that is a method we are calling it and now when the green color will be will be, will be retrieved from this colors uh, string array then for the first time the circle object will be created and that means we have created objects against the all the five colors and so there is no scope to create objects of under the circle next so in this way we can go on creating go on executing my code and uh, this for loop for 20 number of times where i will be ranging from 0 to 19 here so this is the respective uh, outcome from here we are getting this idea that how this particular flyweight design pattern can handle whenever we are having a situation where we are going to create so many different kinds of different number of objects when the similar objects are there then the previous one will be retrieved when the when the new object is going to get created when the new color is coming then the new objects are getting mapped onto the hash map so let us go for the class diagram so you can find this class diagram here so this is the class diagram we are getting so here we are having this shape there is the interface so this particular shape has got implemented in the circle and this shape factory you can go for the shape factory you can find that here we are having this uh, this uh, shape is there which is the output argument of this get circle and here also in the circle map we are having this shape object is there and the color is is it will be the key which will be of the type of string so in case of flyweight design pattern implementation you are getting this shape factory this is the shape factory object we are getting this get circle taking this string as input argument which returns a shape and here you can see that this is a circle map which is containing which may contain zero to many number of shape objects we are having this fly wet pattern demo these are the respective methods these methods are under the public section these methods are under the private sections all of them are static methods are there and this is the constructor you are getting and this is a static method under the public section there is a public static void main string args so there is a class diagram which is depicting the architecture of this application and in this particular example we have discussed uh, thoroughly about the flyweight design pattern its implementation its usage and its field of application thanks for watching this video